in this session we will discuss hashing concepts in data structures so what is hashing so before going to hashing first we will discuss the basic terms that are used in hashing the one or main important is hash table hash table simply hash table is a data structure hash table is a data structure used for storing of information hash table is a data structure used for storing of information that is storing of records and at the same time to retrieve the records after hashing we have to know what is a bucket suppose the representation of hash table is in this format this is the hash table the hash table is divided into different number of buckets this one is called a bucket or cell this one is called a bucket or cell that is our key or our element is placed into a bucket and home bucket home bucket home bucket means simply collision bucket if more than one key wants to occupy the same position or wants to occupy the same cell that bucket is called home bucket so general these are the hash table bucket and home bucket and each and every hash table have some size that is table size that is the maximum number of elements that a hash table can store for example if size is 10 the hash table stores a maximum of 10 elements now coming to the important point hash function hash function the technique that is used for placing the records into the hash table is called hash function that is by using any technique we are placing the records into the hash table that technique or that function is called hash function now in this session we will discuss about some of the hash functions that are used for placing the records into the table suppose if you are using one function for storing records into the hash table for retrieving also we have to use the same function so the functions in the hash table are for examples the methods are division method we have many number of hash functions some of them are division method some multiplication method mint square method folding method some of the hash functions are division method multiplication method mint square method and folding methods the most popular and easiest method is division method we 90 percent of algorithms uses division method for placing the records into the hash table now first to discuss division method so division method for example key if you want to place the key into the hash table the function is if you want to place key into the hash table the representation is h of key is equal to here h of key means we are applying hashing on key is equal to key modulus table size key modulus table size assume some keys suppose example some keys are 13 74 11 15 16 these are the keys assume table size is equal to 10 suppose the table size is equal to 10 place these keys into the hash table by using division method now this is the table zero one two three four five six seven eight nine if table size is nine sorry if table size is ten we are performing modulus operation modulus operation means it always produces a reminder 
whenever a number is divided with 10 we have only possible remainders of 0 to 9 now for form hashing operation h of 13 first to insert element 13 into the hash table h of 13 is equal to 13 mod 10 remainder is 3 that is at position 3 we are placing key 13 so key 13 is placed at position 3 now next element insert 74 74 mod 10 that is 4 at to position 4 we are placing the value 74 h of 11 11 mod 10 11 mod 10 remainder is 1 at position 1 we are placing key 11 next to h of 15 h of 15 is equal to 15 mod 10 that is 5 at position 5 we are placing the value 5 and finally h of 16 is equal to 16 mod 10 that is 6 so 16 this is the way we are placing keys into the hash table at the time of search also it leads to very simplification for example if you want to search an element 15 check whether an element 15 is present in the hash table or not so searching is very simple other than if you are not using hashing technique Blindly we are set from starting onwards 0, 1, 2, 3 and starting onwards. Suppose if you are using hash table, simply perform 15 mod 10 that is 5. Search the cell 5. Whether in the cell 5 15 exists or not. So 15 exists. So the key is found. This is the division method and this is the basic method for all hashing operations. Next we will move to some other methods. If the method is clear. Next, we will move to some other methods. So, next two method is multiplication. Next two method is multiplication. Multiplication method simply h of particular key is equal to h of particular key is equal to formula is floor of floor of suppose assume a constant value a is equal to root 5 minus 1 by 2 this is 0 0.61 approximately always we are using a value as some fixed constant 0 0.65 so floor of m into here m is size of the table k a here k is our key suppose this is h of k K E is our key. K A minus floor of K A. That is this meaning is simply we are getting the fractional part. K A means it produces some fractional part. Floor of K A means the fractional part is removed. We are getting only decimal. From complete number we are subtracting only integer part. So we are getting fractional that is multiplied with table size we are getting value other than simply write k a mod 1 this is also right k a mod 1 this is also right so for example if we want to place a value some 60 if we want to place a value some 60 the operation is floor of if table size is 10 10 into k a k value is 16 16 into 0 0.65 minus floor of 60 into 0 0.65 perform operation 0 0.65 into 60 suppose 6 5 30 6 6 36 so 39 already 10 39 two zeros 39 so here the value is 39 minus so we are not getting any fractional value simply here value is 39 10 into 39 390 floor of 390 so 390 now the key value 60 is placed at position 390 that is simply after performing this calculation we are getting a value 
or we are getting a position at this position we are placing the key similar to division method after performing division operation we are getting a position at that position we are placing the key is coming to multiplication also this is the procedure this is multiplication method next to we will go to next to we will go to mid square method mid square method in mid square method the key is square mid square method whatever the key we want to place into the hash table that key is to be squared after squaring we are considering middle part of the key we are considering middle part of the key at the time of consideration check the address width of the hash table for example if table size is 10 we are considering only single element of the middle part Suppose if the table size is 1000, 1000 means from 0 to 999, check 3 middle digits are considered for placing into the hash table. Suppose k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, this is the key. First step is perform k square operation. Suppose perform multiplication operation 1, 2, 3, 4 into 1, 2, 3, 4 by performing multiplications. 4 4 16, 4 3s, 4 For example, assume this is the answer, whether it is right or wrong, assume this is the answer. Suppose the answer is 1422756. The middle part is this one. Suppose the middle part is this one. Place this number 1234 at this position. Place this number if this position if the table size is 1000. For example, if table size is 10. Place this element at only position 2. So, depending on address width, that is the address width of the table size, we are selecting the middle part element. This is mid square method. And last and one more method is folding method. Folding method. In folding method, the key is divided into a fixed number of digits. For example, if k is equal to 1, 2, 7, 3, 4, 8, 9, if this is the key, the key address width is 2. Suppose address width is 2. Address width 2 means the size of the table is only 10. Address width 3 means the size of the table is up to 99, 100. Suppose this is divided into two equal parts, 2, 2, 2. It has only one part. That means simply add 0. If it already contains one more number, sorry, one more digit, no problem. Now perform addition operation. 89, 34, 27, 0, 1. Perform addition operation on these methods. 9 plus 1, 10, 17, 17, 21, 10, 13, 15, 1, 51. If our address width is 2, we are getting a 3 digit number. Simply ignore the carry. So our answer is 51. So at position 51 in the hash table, we are placing this number. At position 51, we are placing this number. This is a folding method. Folding method has a different subparts. So different subparts means even now one approach, we are adding all the digits that is all each and every part in another approach we are shifting only the last two positions that means the elements are 10 27 perform addition operation again same procedure suppose you non approach only shift to second and last part so there are different approaches that the main approach of folding is 
divided into equal number of parts based on equal size of address will perform addition. If any carry occurs, ignores the carry and place this one into the position. So all these are hashing techniques. But in this hashing technique, if more than one element wants to occupy the same position, for example, if you are using division method, table size is 10, 15 mod 10, that is 5. At to position 5, the key 15 is placed, that is in the hash table at position 5, key 15 is placed. For example, if your key is 35, so perform operation 35 mod 10, that is again 5. But 5 is already filled. Each cell or each position stores only one key. 35, that is the position 5 is already occupied. But 35 also wants to occupy the same position. Hit Irakas collision. Collision. So in the next session, we will discuss what is the collision how we are resolving the collision so the collision resolution techniques are discussed in the next session thank you